In this video, we'll provide a functional overview of the integration between PeopleSoft Campus Solutions and Oracle Student Financial Planning Cloud Service. This is one of three spotlight series reviewing the integration and concentrates on the CS Academic Setup and SFP Student Academic and Financial Information Message. The topics we'll review in the spotlight. The Oracle Student Financial Planning Cloud Service. CS Outbound Messages to SFP. The CS SFP message log, enabling the integration, CS academic structure setup, CS integration options for SAFI, SAFI program and course data, SAFI drops and withdrawal processing, SAFI program changes, student groups message, the leave of absence message, and then the CS SFP program financial data components. What customers like about SFP is that it's student-centric. With features such as individual packaging for current and future terms and strong self-service for ICE processing. SFP also provides extreme automation, allowing the financial aid staff to spend time on students and not on processes and real-time integration with the Department of Ed. There are five CS outbound messages. The student initiation event will push CS bio demo data to SFP, and this message will also create the students in SFP. The student update message is an event that will push bio demo updates to SFP. The student academic and financial information message, otherwise known as the SAFI, will push student records and student financial data to SFP. The leave of absence and breaks in attendance message will be sent when a student has a break in attendance. And the student groups message will send CS student group data that a student has been linked to for SFP to consume. Using the process F SFP messages run control, the CS outbound messages are sent to SFP from the SCC underscore VOC integration app engine. The each CS outbound message pop select criteria is used to identify the students that should be sent to SFP. Sample queries have been delivered and can be found with the query name starting with QA underscore CS underscore CC underscore SFP. The processing options are used for consuming mess inbound messages from SFP, but this time the outbound messages are not using the processing options and they should remain blank. Enter the academic institution value that corresponds to the student population that is being processed. The message class is where you will select one of the five CS outbound messages. The maximum career term record field allows you to select a term where the SAFI will not include any term or program data that is effective after the selected term. All inbound and outbound messages are logged in the record SCC underscore SFA underscore MSG underscore MAP. The SFP message log provides a view into the table holding all the SFP inbound and outbound messages. Search criteria allow the user to select specific transactions and display the results. If an error or warning is encountered during processing, the SFP message log page will provide that information on the responses tab. To view the message XML, Tap the message transaction event link and the XML window is displayed. The SFP message log will also hold any message validation errors that SFP identifies when consuming the five CS outbound messages. CS will consume these message validation errors whenever messages are pulled into CS from SFP. This first example shows a validation area error on a student initiation message where the SSN in the message was found to match an existing student in the SFP instance. The second example shows an SFP validation error where a SAFI message could not be consumed because the student did not exist in SFP. Within the campus community menu, under the student financial planning interface component, the SFP installation and setup page contains the flag to enable the SFP interface. SFP uses projected enrollment information received in the SAFI message to package and award student aid. SFP projected term setup provides the framework for sending that projected enrollment data from CS to SFP by associating academic years and terms to academic careers. In this example of traditional academic year, you can see that a summer term is not included, but projected units are included for a summer term if the student is term activated. 
The setup also includes an NFF or non-federal fund estimated award start date. This date will determine when the non-federal funds, such as institutional scholarships, will be saved to the CS anticipated aid table for an individual student. The SFP integration options page includes additional configuration that can be used to change the delivered default processing for specific areas of the SAFI and leave of absence messages. SFP integration is driven by a combination of core CS academic structure elements, as well as extensions added specifically for SFP integration. SFP integration must be enabled to expose SFP extension specific pages. In CS Academic Structure, SFP attributes are set at both academic program and academic plan levels. And the configuration supports models where academic requirements, such as the number of required units and grade point average, are determined by a student's program, and those where these requirements depend on a student's plan. Regardless of whether the institution makes these rules by program or plan, they will need to perform a setup for both program and plans since both are used to provide student academic data to SFP. On the academic program, the integration will use the description of the student's program as well as the SIP code. SIP code is required and the program must be financial aid eligible. The SFP attributes tab includes data elements that will define the structure and requirements for a student's SFP program record, such as program measurement unit, required units, and grade points average. OPEID is also required. This page also includes an academic plan indicator flag. If this is set to yes, the data we see here will be sourced from the student's primary plan rather than the program. This will also mean that the integration will use the plan description and the SIP code for the student's SFP program rather than the academic program values. At the academic plan level, the integration uses program length, type, and value, as well as SULA special program and first professional degree attributes. SFP program type is an SFP integration specific attribute and drives a lot of processing in SFP. This should be left blank if the plan is not intended for SFP processing. If a student's program has the SFP academic plan indicator flag set to yes, the plan description will be used and the plan must have a SIP code. This slide shows an example where SFP attributes were defined at the academic plan level. When this is the case, the plan must be financial aid eligible and it must also have an OPEID assigned. In this session, we'll be focusing on SAFI program and course data, as well as drop and withdrawal processing, including term and program withdrawals. We'll also examine integration options, including configuration for certain types of program changes. The first step in exchanging student data with SFP is the student initiation message. This generates the FAS student initiation event, which is picked up by the integration between CS and SFP. This message is generated from the Process SFP Messages Run Control page and contains basic personal data such as name and date of birth for a student. Once a student has been created in an SFP instance, the next step is to send the SAFI message. The SAFI includes the setup data we looked at earlier, like unit and GPA requirements, as well as projected term and projected course enrollment data. Also included is any existing CS course enrollment transfer and test credit. The financial components of the SAFI include any posted tuition fee charges by term, as well as resource information, which can include dispersed financial aid awards and student financials waivers. CS course drops and program changes ultimately affect the SFP student program record. These changes can trigger processing in SFP that can update a student's financial aid award. Before we look at how CS SFP integration handles these types of changes, it's helpful to take a closer look at an SFP student program record. Student program data can be viewed on the SFP program information page. The program details section contains two program identifiers. External program ID concatenates key data from the student's CS program record. This is institution, academic program, plan, campus, and academic career. The code attribute is the SFP identifier. Student financial aid packaging and awards are driven by this. The CS SAFI handler generates this ID when creating a SAFI message. 
The program credits section displays the total required units from the CS program or plan SFP setup. Assess credits will display any test credits such as CLEP hosted to the student's term bucket. Transfer credit displays CS transfer credit. Earned units are completed course units from student enroll where the student earned credit. Enrollment status will display the student's current term enrollment status, such as F for full time, or the program status, such as admitted. Exit information is populated when a SAFI is generated after a program withdrawal, such as a discontinuation or a dismissal, or a program completion. Last date of attendance is populated using the latest course last date of attendance. If the student withdrew before the end of the course, this would typically be the latest drop date from CS for the withdrawal term. If the student graduated, this would be the latest course end date. Academic completion date displays the effective date for the CS program completion. The transfer information section provides a breakdown of the student's transfer credit by institution. The term diesel section provides pro projected term data for the student based on the total required unit value in the SFP setup for the academic program or academic plan. The SAFI handle will use the minimum unit value for the student's approved academic load to calculate the number of projected terms to send. Projected courses and terms are generated by the SAFI handler until total required units for the program have been reached or exceeded. The courses section includes enroll courses from the student's student enrollment record as well as projected enrollments. But before we take a closer look, we need to note that there is currently no processing logic for some attributes in the course section. That is the eligible, incomplete resolution date, degree applicable, and repeat attribute. Projected courses are placeholder for projected units for future terms. Projections are used by the SFP packaging process to create estimated financial aid packages. The SAFI includes projected data for each of the student's projected academic years, with the number of units determined by the student's approved academic load and the student's level load rule. If the student's approved load is full-time and the minimum unit value for full-term is 12 units, each projected enrollment will have a value of 12 units. For enroll courses, the SAFI includes all enroll courses where the student enrolled enrollment status is enrolled, and this includes non-graded enrollments such as labs and discussions. And each enrollment is represented by the class description together with the term and class number. Start and end date come from the class table start, and eight, start date and end date. Modality is the instruction mode and location is the campus for the course offering on the class table. For withdrawn courses, the SAFI handler assigns the status of withdrawn when sending course enrollments where the student enroll enrollment status is D or drop, or where an enroll course has an enrollment status reason is withdrawn, such as in a, a case where a student received a W grade. In both cases, the drop date is used for the LDA or last date of attendance attribute. We'll take a look at the setup for withdrawn course reporting later in this TOR. Once courses have been graded, the SAFI will include the past, failed, and incomplete status based on the criteria shown here. The GPA end attribute uses the student's term cumulative GPA from the student term record. The SAFI handler uses the student's term control date fully enrolled date to determine when to categorize a drop class as withdrawn in the SAFI. This date is saved to the student's term record as part of the CS term activation process. Classes dropped before this date are not sent to SFP. Any such dropped class will be removed from the SFP enrollment history the next time a SAFI is generated. Classes dropped on or after the fully enrolled date, August 29th in this example, will be given a status of withdrawn. This applies to classes where the CS enrollment status has dropped or those where a drop grade such as a W has been assigned. If a student is completely withdrawn from a term using the CS term withdrawal feature, the SAFI handler will send the term status of withdrawn using the CS withdrawal date as the effective date, as we see in the sample SAFI XML. The term withdrawal does not withdraw the SFP program, however. When SFP receives a SAFI with this information, the program record remains active. 
The term status can be viewed using the SFP packaging screen to drill into the term data. Note that the CS term withdrawal date is used for the SFP term status effective date and the date of determination. The CS last date of attendance is used for the SFP OLDA or official last date of attendance. When a student completely withdraws from an institution, such as transferring to another institution, administrators will typically inactivate the student's program by taking a discontinuation or maybe a dismissal action on the CS program plan component. If the student leaves the institution during a term, the typical flow would be a term withdrawal followed by the, the program discontinuation or dismissal. A SAFI generated for a student with this data would have a, an SFP program status of withdrawal together with a term status of withdrawal. If we take a look at the SFP program information page for this student, we see that the program status is now withdrawn using the effective date of the CS program plan discontinuation. Since the student withdrew during the term, we also see that the exit information reflects the last date of attendance and dropped from the term withdrawal. A graduated SAFI is sent when a student's program is completed in CS. The SAFI is generated with a status of graduated using the CS program completion effective date. The SAFI also includes exit information, again using the CS completion date for the academic completion date in SFP. In general, CS program plan changes in the same student career number do not trigger a change in the SFP program record. A typical program change of this nature, such as one where a student to close a major, will be processed with an action of program change or plan change within the same career number. In such cases, the SAFI handler will not create a new SFP program, and instead the existing SFP program is updated to reflect a new program and plan. The same is also true if a CS program is changed by discontinuing one career number and adding a new career number to represent the new program. Here again, the SAFI handler will update the, the program data for the existing SFP program enrollment the next time a SAFI is generated and sent to SFP. These type of changes will only trigger a SFP program change if the SFP program type changes and the SAFI integration has been configured to, to handle such changes. This particular configuration option is provided on the SFP integration options page we looked at earlier. The same graduated status option is delivered set to no, which means the SAFI handler will use default processing for this type of CS program change. Let's look at an example where the program type changes and the SAFI handler is configured to use default processing. In this example, the SFP program record PSUNV0001 represents the CS undergraduate program plan of A in business administration. The business administration plan is a type of associates. The program is subsequently changed in CS to a program plan of BSHA, where the plan has a type of bachelor's. The next time a SAFI is generated for the student, the existing SFP program record is updated. And we see that the program plan and type is changed along with other attributes such as total required units. In this case, the institution does not consider the program type change from associates to bachelors to be a material change for financial aid purposes, and the update is handled as a regular in-career program plan change. This behavior changes when the integration option saying graduated status option is set to yes. With this option in place, the SAFI handler will send a graduated SAFI for the change from program, that's the associates in our example, as well as an additional SAFI to create a new SFP program enrollment record for the bachelor's program. Here we see that the original program has been closed out as graduated. The enrollment status is set to graduated, but there is no academic completion date. The enrollment status effective date is set to the end date of the last enrollment term, and this date is also used for the official last date of attendance under exit information. Any projected enrollments are also removed. Here we can see that the second SAFI sent as a result of the program change has created an entirely new SFP program enrollment for the bachelor's program. The start date for this new program is set to the effective date of the program change in CS, and the enrollment status effective date is set to the start date of the first term of the new program. Any course data from the graduated program is also included with this new program. 
As we saw earlier, the surfing handler uses the student's term fully enrolled date to determine when to categorize the drop classes withdrawn in the SAFI. It is possible that the term fully enrolled date might not work for this purpose, depending on the institutional calendar. In cases where an earlier or later date is required, the fully enrolled date integration option allows customers to find an alternate fully enrolled date for SFP purposes using the common attribute framework. The SAFI handle will use the common attribute assigned here to look up an alternate date in the term calendar CAF additional information table. SFP considers all graded courses as applicable to satisfactory academic progress calculations, even if there are no units. This option is intended to provide more control for customers to exclude non-graded or non-credit courses from SFP SAP calculations. A typical example might be where students are enrolled in courses that represent scheduled practice sessions, or where students are enrolled in courses that represent consortium units at another institution. The course attribute defined here can be used to identify courses to be excluded from SAP evaluation in SFP. The SAFI handle will, add, will add an SAP applicable tag with a value of no for enrollments in courses with this attribute. This option is intended to address situations where the academic year might be configured differently than the financial aid year. If the academic year starts with summer, but the summer term is considered trailing for financial aid purposes, this option allows the SAFI handler to send the prior academic year to be included for packaging purposes in SFP. If a student started in summer 2022, and that term was part of the 2023 academic year, the first academic year sent in the SAFI would be 2022. The leave of absence and breaks in attendance message events sends student records leave of absence information to SFP. The message can also include schedule break information when enabled. These messages are logged with the message class of STLA. In this example, a student has been placed on leave of absence using the CS program plan component. If a SAFI was to be generated after this action, the student's enrollment status would be sent as A using the program action effective date. The presence of this leave of absence role in the student's CS program plan record means that a leave of absence message can be sent using the process SFP messages component. The message data includes a break type of LOA with a break start date attribute equal to the effective date of the leave of absence, as well as a break end date. The length of this break type is always 180 days. Breaks in attendance or scheduled break information is optional and can be included in the same message. To send this information, you will need to create the scheduled breaks in CS by defining them as a, as a holiday schedule using the Common Objects Holiday Schedule feature. This same holiday schedule must then be added to the Leave of Absence message option on the SFP integration options page. The Leave of Absence message in this example includes break types of institutionally scheduled breaks, where the date and identifier are sourced from the holiday schedule defined in the integration setup. The message will include all scheduled breaks that fall on the student's minimum term begin date and the student's maximum term end date. In this example, the student is term activated in fall 2022, which began August 29th, 2022, and spring 2023, which ends May 11th, 2023. Leave of absence and scheduled break data in SFP are all, always reflects the data sent in the most recent STLA message. The student groups message allows you to send SCS student groups data for consumption by SFP. These messages are logged with a message class of SGRP. In this example, a student has been assigned to two student groups in CS, ACG State Scholar and First Generation College. If we take a look at the payload for the student groups message generated for our sample student, we can see that the message includes the CS student groups code as name, along with effective date and any comments that were added to the student group's entry in CS. The SFP student program plan component provides a view of this program plan and term data that is used to build the student's SFP program record. The component also includes a number of views of student financial data pertaining to financial aid disbursements and return to lender transactions sent from SFP. Taking a look at a sample SFP program page, we can see that the data is presented by SFP program code. The data displayed on the page, the CS career program and plan data, are the attributes that the SAFI handler used to map an SFP program record. And this data is sent to SFP in the SAFI message. 
As data is exchanged with SFP over time, the data display will also reflect any updates to the SFP program records, such as a change in program or plan. There's generally one SFP program record per CS career. So if a student completes an undergraduate program, moves to a graduate program, a new SFP program record would be created. A new program record could also be created if a plan change within the same career results in a change of program type, and the SFP integration option for saying graduated status has been set to yes. The financial data page provides a view of SFP financial messages and is intended to assist in the process of reconciling SFP financial messages to CS student financial transactions. This page provides a cross-reference of SFP disbursement return to lender messages to Groupline and the customer account. It is a comprehensive view that provides greater efficiency in ensuring SFP financial message events have been posted accurately to each student. The data will be retrieved from three major sources. The disbursement reporting tables, the SCC underscore SFA message map record, and student financial records, group line, item line, and item line SF.